Hi, I'm Richard Rankin. I thought I was aware of the scale of the fandom. I was wrong. <laughs> I was wrong there about that. They're much bigger and much better and yes. much more lovable than I could have well, ever they, imagined. They like a lot of scenes of yours, including like one of this. This one here is a really good scene that we like. Check it out. Yes, there we go. Oh, bless. <laughs> Roger, what are you doing? Go home. <laughs> which, which brings me to a question. Look at this. Um, <laughs> you hope happens with those two as a fan of the show. What do I hope happens maybe, maybe with maybe the them? next step in the relationship? I think the next step in the relationship for Roger's sanity should be he should just, you know, he should just maybe just let it go. Mm. Find a nice Scottish lass and settle down. <laughs> and right, 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 right. Maybe start a farm or something. Okay. Sorry, so oh, wow. I like that. All right. Often sp I spend I often get into trouble at <laughs> I often get into trouble at uh Conventions, oh, Comic Cons, uh, fan meetings for spending and how, far how too much you... time with fans. But I, I love it. I love chatting to them. They often come along and bring you wee gifts or set up. The last one that I did was in New Orleans and it was my birthday and a few of the fans had basically set up a buffet of things at one of my tables. They had a cake, they'd brought whiskey, we were drinking, having a good <laughs> laugh, having a chat. There was like queues going round the corner and people were like, Oh keep God, yeah, yeah, I know. Have another whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be five minutes. Fine. Just, just a little bit. It's got my camera on me. I keep missing things. I'm like, why don't I have my camera? So now I just take it everywhere, just in case. Um, Do you take it into the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is there, I mean, well, you just don't know, do you, what's going to happen in there. <laughs> <laughs> so it's always good. Good practice. A photographer always has his camera with him, as Penny White would say. Um, you're kept kind of, um, you're kept in touch with things on Twitter. The fans send you quite a lot of things, and one of the things they send you is gifts of your character. Oh yeah. Especially throughout the, the gifts, season, yeah. and they, you know, they get, they, you see them over and over again. And one of the ones that I see quite a lot is a gif of Roger when he goes to visit Brianna at Christmas, and mm -hmm. he's standing at the door and he's fixing his tie. And he rings the doorbell and he's like, Happy Christmas. <laughs> and I see that, I see that quite a lot, and especially coming up to the end of season four, I was thinking, oh, that guy's so long gone. <laughs> I don't imagine that that is how Roger thought that, <laughs> you know, his first meeting of his true love's father yeah, would go. go. I think down. he had different ideas about meeting Brianna's father for mm -hmm. the first time. I think it maybe involved, you know, a flagon of ale and a nice sit down meal and a chat. Um, I don't think I don't think he, he kind of foresaw that, but he was kind of blindsided by it, wasn't he? Yeah. I mean, he's just saying good morning. Can yeah. you please give me directions? And then, bang, <laughs> and then he's, down. he's down. And you don't want to take a hit off Jamie Fraser. You, you don't want to take, no. you know, a right hander from no. Jamie Fraser. No. So he doesn't get to say much yeah. about it. Mm -mm. And are you close off the set? Like you and Sophie, are you close off the set? Yeah, Sophie and I are very close. Um, on and off set, we have to be. <laughs> because you do sex scenes together. We do the occasional sex scene yeah. together. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it, it always helps if you if you're getting along with your co-star. <laughs> you know, in those circumstances. <laughs> but we get on very well. It's become a bit of a family, the Outlander team, right. cast and crew. I mean, we not not only get on well with our with our um, our co-stars, the, the the team as a whole, our execs, our writers. Um, our crew, they're all amazing. Yeah. <laughs> what would you say is the most romantic thing you've ever done for someone? The mo wow, you really put me on the spot. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but maybe it hasn't happened yet, you know? I think Take it just cues. hasn't happened yet. Take some yeah. cues from Roger. You know, right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you have a great, you have a well, great Well, I have source. that, you know, I can always spring yeah. that on someone, you know, in the middle of a really passionate, romantic kiss where everything's just perfect. I could just halt that, mm. wait there a moment and propose. Mm -hmm. That, that, that seems, that seems to work. Hopefully it goes better than, than in the, the show. show yeah. <laughs> like wearing the kilts? Do you enjoy wearing the kilts because your fans enjoy it when you wear the kilts? Do they? Yes. 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 I didn't. Do. I didn't know about that. Yeah. Um, I enjoy wearing a kilt anyway. I. I don't know that I'd do it because the fans enjoy me wearing a kilt. I'll. I'll take any excuse to wear, to wear a, a kilt. kilt. Yeah. Just more comfortable. Much more comfortable. It's fresh. <laughs> yeah. That's it's right. breezy. It's breezy. Yes. Yeah. It's not as restricting. <laughs>